Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Monday Show. My name is Nice Peter. This is a t-shirt with Bigfoot riding a skateboard. Awesome. And I'm glad that you're here. Last week I suggested we do a little Twitter question time, and let's get right into it. Twitter question time! Ellsworth Tuhi writes, Nice Peter, what rescue shelter did I get Charlie from? I got him from a place called the Forte Animal Rescue. It's a wonderful organization. It's staffed by volunteers and donations. I've made a couple of donations to them because they have donated this wonderful dog into my life. In November of 2013, they're having a 10-year anniversary party, and I'm going to be there. As that comes closer, I'll give you information about it if you'd like to attend. Danielle asks, a couple of years back, did I ever imagine my talents would get me this far, and do I see it as luck or fate? No, I never imagined my talents or my abilities or anything that I can do in any way would ever get me to the point where I am today. And every once in a while, if not every day, I doubt myself. I almost gave up quite a few times over the course of my journey, and I didn't. And I didn't because I didn't want to. So when you ask, is it luck or fate? It's neither of those. It's persistence. Matthew Peters asks, do I use any of the things that I get in the mail? I sent you the red suspenders. Yes, I still have the red suspenders. Someone sent me a, a t-shirt with a sunshine and a mustache on it. I was wearing it yesterday. And where's my keys? I still have this little keychain on my keychain. Ali asks, do I have a favorite make style of guitar out of the ones I currently own, which is my favorite? I got a new favorite guitar because I just picked it up and it's a Fender Stratocaster. This is the guitar that I played on a brand new song that's coming out. It's called What the Waves Say. Here's a little clip. So this is currently my favorite guitar. I sleep with it like this. Marina asks, can I make requests for old songs if I come to the show in London? You certainly can. Here's where I'm at with that. I'm having this mental juggling act in my head. The songs that I used to play, and I used to write, and I used to play in bars were very body, I guess you would say. I sang a lot of songs about like balls and stuff, and it was great. I had a, a lot of fun. When I was putting the set list together for this show, I didn't know where that would fit in. If I sing like this song about love, and then I sing about balls. I mean, I love balls, don't get me wrong, but it just felt a little strange. So I'm actually gonna kind of be counting on the audience to kind of help me figure out what to do and help me figure out what you guys want to sing and hear. Chris asks, how do I get rid of my anger? Jeez, man, I don't know how I get rid of anger. I guess I don't always. Sometimes I have it inside of me and sometimes I deal with it in ways that are healthy and sometimes I don't. But when I am being the healthiest, I exercise or I put it into a song. That's a really great way for me to deal with feelings. I think to answer your question, the way I get rid of my anger is to identify it and to isolate it and, and to recognize it for what it is. Anger is anger and you're gonna feel it sometimes. And instead of denying it, I try to embrace it and use it for something hopefully good. Sit down, son, and let me give you a music lesson. Jacob asks, am I a fan of Star Wars? He'd like to make me a Boba Fett helmet for me sometime. <laughs> I am a huge Star Wars fan. As a kid, I always loved Star Wars, and I always wanted to be Han Solo, and I always wanted my neighbor's cat to be Princess Leia. I was kind of a weird kid. As far as a Boba Fett helmet, man, if you are a Boba Fett helmet maker, I can absolutely guarantee you that your Boba Fett helmet will make its way into the world of things that we make here. As we get ready for Epic Rap Battle Season 3, there is probably some Star Wars type characters in the future, and there may or may not be a scene that involves a certain Fett of the Boba variety. Dylan asks, what is my summer song? I'm not gonna lie to you. Miley Cyrus. We can't stop. What can I say? I really like that song. And I like her butt cheeks in the video. Don't judge me. Amy asks, what's my favorite old movie? Older than 15 years or more. Is Ghostbusters more than 15 years old now? Does that mean I'm 100,000 years old? I don't know. Is Ghostbusters old enough to qualify? If so, Ghostbusters. If not, The Godfather. Okay, Tia wants to know, girlfriend update? Tell us about me. Here's the truth, and I don't know why I'm telling you this. I'm just kind of in an honesty mood. When I first started making YouTube videos a few years ago, I had a girlfriend. That relationship fell apart, and in kind of a relatively devastating way to me at the time. And it fell apart because of me. It fell apart because I didn't put enough into the relationship, and I really was really focused on what I was doing and my work, and that was much more important to me than anything in the world. But a few weeks after that, I met another lady, and she has been my girlfriend ever since. And I still feel a little shy about talking about my personal relationships because I'm not good at them all the time, and I make a lot of mistakes, and I don't get to edit those out. So I probably still won't talk about it a lot, but 
Yeah, I do have a girlfriend. She's very important to me. And she came into my life at a time when I was feeling really bad. I started drinking a lot to try and make myself feel better. And she kind of really helped me realize that that wasn't necessarily something I had to do. I was really grateful for that. And she was very short, but she always felt very tall to me. And so I wrote a little song about her, about a sunflower. My relationship isn't perfect. I'm not perfect. She's not perfect. Nothing in this world is perfect. But as it stands today, we're still together. And it's been like two years now. You actually kind of know her. Well, you don't really know her, but you kind of introduced us because she, uh, well, she made that background back right there. So that's how we met. So thanks. Next question. Ugh, I'm all sweaty. Hell Reader asks, nice Peter, do you like us French people? Because you make me smile. At least one of us. That is very sweet. I'll tell you the truth. I went to France last year and I think I was scared of everybody. I had this big fear of people not liking me and rejecting me. And one of the ways that I use to figure out, all right, is this person happy with how I'm being? Is smiling. I think uh, when somebody smiles, I feel, oh, okay, well, they're at least content. French people, in my personal experience, I could be totally wrong, they don't walk around with a big dopey smile on their face the way that I do. So I'm like walking around France like, hey, how do you do? Can I have one of your croissants? Everyone looked at me like I was an annoying American person, which I totally, totally am. So, do I like French people? Yes. Do I think French people like me? I didn't, but now I know at least one does, so that makes me feel good. I have one last Twitter question, and then I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for all your questions. A lot of them were really honest and really inspiring to me, which is always cool. Rutger Mass asks, Nice Peter, why is Freddie Mercury your personal hero? I'll tell you why. Because Freddie Mercury was not afraid to be what he was. And he had this way, he was very shy in interviews. I don't know if you've ever seen an interview with Freddie Mercury, but he was like shy and soft-spoken. But he had a way of getting up in front of a room full of people, embracing all that energy from all the people in the room, and just blasting it out from his chest and his whole face and his whole awesome mustache would just turn into this shining beacon of awesome mustache power. And that's why I love Freddie Mercury, because he, he was able to use the energy of a whole group of people and focus it in one powerful stream of music. And that's something I aspire to do. So thanks for being a part of it. I'll see you next week. Bye. Late